All right, so this example we're going to look at finding x and y intercepts. I'll have another example finding the x and y intercepts when you're given a graph. Okay. All right, so um, so check that video out. So let's look at this. I got two examples. This one you can see the x and y is on the same side, and this one they're not. And I mean it doesn't matter how the equation's written. All right, so first. Let's go ahead and find the x intercept. Okay. So to find the x intercept, what do we do? We let y equal zero. So we're going to plug zero in for y. So I get six x minus 9 times, and in the place of y, I'm going to put 0 equals 12. And so that gives me 6x equals 12, because this goes to 0. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 6, so I get x equal 2. Okay. So my x-intercept is the point, well, Remember, your point is an x-y coordinate. Well, what was my x? It's 2. And what's y? Well, y was what? 0. And so there's my x-intercept. Now, let's find the y-intercept. So, to find the y-intercept, I'm going to let x equals 0. And I'm going to plug the 0 in the equation and solve for y. So that's going to be 6 times 0 minus 9y equals 12. And so that's going to give me negative 9y equals 12 because this term goes to 0. And then I'll divide everything by negative 9. And so I get y equals negative, and then 12 over 9 will reduce to 4 thirds. Okay, so my y intercept is the point, and just like up here, it's an xy coordinate. Okay, well, what's my x coordinate? Well, x was 0. Now, what's my y coordinate? y is negative 4 thirds. So there's my y intercept and this one's my x-intercept. All right, so let's look at this one. So let's just go ahead and find the x-intercept first. All right, so we're going to let y equal 0. So I'm going to plug 0 into here. So that's going to be 3x equals 5 times 0 minus 15. So that's 3x equals, well, this goes to 0, so I get negative 15. Divide everything by 3, and that gives me x is negative 5. So what's our point? Well, remember it's in the form xy. x is negative 5, y was 0. So there's my x-intercept. Now, let's find the y-intercept. Okay. So, to find the y-intercept, well, what do we do? We let x equal 0. So, we're going to plug the 0 in for x. So, that's 3 times 0 equals 5y minus 15. And so, that's going to give me 0 equals 5y minus 15, and then I'll subtract 5y to both sides because I've got to solve it. I've got to solve for y. And yes, if you wanted to, you could have added 15 to both sides. It doesn't matter. I'll divide both sides by negative 5, and I get y equals 3. So my y-intercept, remember xy, so my x was 0, and my y is 3. 
Now, let me show you this real quick. Let's let's just suppose that you don't remember it, you know, finding your x and y intercept to let y equal 0 solve for x, let x equal 0 solve for y. So, if you if you look at this, well, just draw a straight line. Now, not a straight line, but just draw a line. Okay? Now, look at this. It intersects here and it intersects here, right? This is your x-intercept where it crosses the x-axis. This is your y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. Well, if we look at this, what's the coordinate for this point? Well, how far up or down did we go? How far did we move on the y-axis? None. Okay, think about plotting the point. So y is zero, and then how far out did we go for x? Well, I don't know. That's what we got to find. So you can see that you can say, okay, well, y is going to be 0, and i got to figure out what x is. And then the same thing here. Look at this. How far did, how did we move on the x-axis? Did we move right or left any? No. We stayed at 0. x is 0. And what's y? I don't know. We're going to either go up or down, however many units, in this case up, and we got to find y. And these are question marks, by the way. Okay. So, so that's a way that you can just sketch it real quick and, and you can see. Okay. All right, so give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.